So let's look at this. This is a really important one. You'll notice that we have the four columns to match the four uh, quadrants for the cluster. And the top row is Michael. So let's see what's planned for Michael. Well, for direct services, Michael is seen for 240 minutes a month in the classroom and 120 minutes a month small group. So there's a difference. He's seen in two different ways. And of course, notice that it's minutes per month. It's not 30 minutes pull out small group twice a week, which is very rigid and has you locked into what you're doing. By being able to list minutes per month, and there's nothing in federal regs that say you can't do this at all. By listing this, this is allowing you a tremendous amount of flexibility for how you're working with a student. And as we begin to look at some schedules, you'll see the value of being able to build in that flexibility. Now for indirect services to support his IEP, analyzing data and writing the report takes an hour for the year. So there it is. That's set aside as additional paperwork. Observe in the classroom, 15 minutes per month. That's terrific. I mean, that's right there that you're going to slip in and do that, and you're getting that recognized. To support him in the classroom, consult with the teacher about the curriculum 30 minutes a week. That's great. It's on the schedule because it's the service you're providing to this kid. And the compliance, you know we talked about all the paperwork. You're going to need 30 minutes a week to do third-party billing. You're going to need an hour a, a year to do reports and IEPs. And you're going to need 15 minutes a week to write in the parent notebook. So again, you're adding that up. Let's compare that to Kwame. Kwame's getting 250, or 40, excuse me, 240 minutes a month individual, 45 minutes a week for co-teaching and two hours to do the reavail. Analyzing data, writing the report, four hours for the year. That's the reavail report. Observe in the classroom, 30 minutes a month, and consult with parents for the home program, 15 minutes a week. Get in touch with the parents. Under indirect to support the classroom, here you go, plan co-teaching 15 minutes a week by email. Let's look at this for a minute. Not only are we capturing the planning, but this can be done by email. A lot of people find that they can use email and the internet, but specifically email, to communicate information, particularly once they get a program underway, that they can do this kind of planning by email. And yet it's still getting acknowledged that time slots up there. Curriculum modifications, 15 minutes a week, email. And then the paperwork, of course. Again, 30 minutes a week, third-party billing, two hours for that year for the compliance paperwork that needs to be done that would all be part of the reavail, and a parent conference is written in there for the year. And that's the 90 minutes. It's a really essential parent conference because of the parent support that they have in place in the home program. So this is a tremendous way to capture what you're doing for the kid. You may want to put something like this on the IEP. You may want to find a way to put all of the direct and indirect onto the IEP. You certainly want to find a way to get this onto your schedule. Okay, so given these handouts, I want you to think about ways that you can use these and uh, you know, take them back and begin to ponder how you may be able to apply these to your work.